You are watching part of our series of interviews with economist and best-selling author Dr. Pat Choate. Dr. Choate's newest work, Saving Capitalism, Keeping America Strong, points out not only the problems this country faces, but the solutions we must use to face them. Now, Pat, one of the things you discuss in Saving Capitalism is the sort of revolving door policy of lobbyists turned government agents turned executives on Wall Street. Can you sort of explain the, the Washington-Wall Street relationship and uh, what it means for the United States in general? Basically what has happened over uh, the past 30 years is Wall Street has come to fill most of the senior economic positions in the White House and in the U.S. Treasury. <coughs> and in doing that, uh, with that revolving door, the attitude in the U.S. Treasury has been let's do what's right uh, for Wall Street more than what, let's do what's right uh, for America. This uh, bailout of the banks is a clear example of this. Wall Street uh, panicked. They were losing money. They came. They got the President of the United States, George W. Bush, and now Barack Obama uh, to uh, support a bailout. They pushed that $700 billion bailout uh, through the Congress. The loan sheets that the banks have to fill out for uh, this money it consists of two pages and 26 lines. It's not much more than identify your address, your bank, and how much money you want, and the Treasury will ship it in uh, and wire it in. This is because we have an incestuous relationship between Washington and Wall Street it's backed up by campaign monies, by lobbying monies. We've got to break that. We've got to regulate uh, Wall Street. We've got to set up rules that say that people uh, who ran uh, these banks and organizations into the ground will be banned for life from working in the financial industry. There are tough and simple things that we can do to make this straight. For more news, notes, and topics, please tune in and log on every day at economyincrisis.org.